Ukraine will shut down if Congress does not reach a deal by the end of this week. Vice President Pence warns that politics of, quote, Trump's populist right. protégés, like Mr. Ramaswamy, are a road to ruin for the GOP. If the government shuts down, should voters blame populist Republicans? <laughs> voters should blame everybody who's in Washington, D.C. They get sent down there to do the job, and they've been failing at doing the job for a very long time. And let's be honest about this with the voters. You know, during the Trump administration, they added $7 trillion, $7 trillion in national debt. And now the Biden administration has put another $5 trillion on and counting. They have failed and they're in the spot they're in now because none of them are willing to tell the truth. None of them are willing to take on the difficult issues. They just want to keep kicking the can down the road. And the inflation that Nikki spoke about is absolutely right and it's caused by government spending. And that's why people all across government this country spending. are suffering tonight. And yet we don't get any answers because Joe Biden It's funny how they say it's government spending, but it's never the government spending in military concern. And I guarantee he's not talking about the $115 billion sent to Ukraine. But he's talking about no, government spending on your schools, on your roads, on your freeways. We're spending too much on the peasants. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> or I, know video, it's hard to see, but, uh, for, I saw some people ask. There's subtitles right here. I wish it was bigger. But Fox News got some subtitles on the on. The I can take, let me take that our blame. banner now. Maybe you can see a little better. Everyone in Washington D.C. who has failed to do their job and just plays to the grandstand. The next question is for Governor DeSantis. Well, rebel, 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 rebel. Here's how we get done in Washington. Can we please respect the time? We can get it done. They Governor are, DeSantis, you haven't spoken, please. The people in Washington are shutting down the American Governor dream DeSantis with their there? reckless behavior. They borrowed, they printed, they spent, and now you're paying more for everything. They are the reason for that. They have shut down our national sovereignty by allowing our border to be wide open. So please spare me uh, yeah, the crocodile tears for these people. Shit. They need to change they what's going on. And where's Joe Biden? He's completely missing in action from leadership. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should oh, be shit. on this stage tonight. He owes it what to you. What are we talking about? What is the question here? <laughs> where they added $7.8 trillion to the debt. That set the stage for the inflation that we have. Now, I can tell you this. As governor of Florida, we cut taxes. We ran surpluses. We've paid down over 25% of our state debt. And I vetoed wasteful spending when it came to my desk. And as your president, when they send me a bloating spending bill that's going to cause your prices to go up, I'm going to take out this veto pen and I'm going to send it right back to them. Putin has ordered assassinations across Europe, cheated on arms control treaties with the U.S., and seeks to work with China to force our decline. President oh Reagan believed God. that if you want to prevent a war, you better be prepared to fight one. President who? Today, the Republican Party is at odds over aid to Ukraine. Oh, so here the we go. The price tags are so $76 billion. But is it in our best interest to degrade Russia's military if we pay annually on defense, That's not happening especially now. when there are no U.S. soldiers in the fight? It's in our interest to end this war, and that's what I will do as president. We are not going to have a blank check. We will not have U.S. troops, and we're going to make the Europeans do what they need to do. But they've sent money to pay uh, bureaucrats' pensions and salaries and funding small businesses halfway around the world. Meanwhile, our own country is being invaded. Uh, we don't even have control of our own territory. We have got to defend the American people before we even worry about all these other things. And I watch these guys in Washington, D.C., and they don't care about the American people. They don't care about the fentanyl deaths. They don't care about the communities being overrun because of this border. They don't care about the Mexican drug cartels. So as commander in chief, I will defend this country's sovereignty. But it's not a territorial dispute. It's never been a territorial dispute. It is a territorial dispute. Let, let her get unhinged. Nikki is coming in to get unhinged. It's guaranteed it's a loan. It is not at 90%. Of the what? money that we send over there is loan. Well, we can talk he about this. Said it out loud. Oh, day, you you a damn liar, man. <laughs> is actually no, in the form of loan. It's not actually what we pay about there. Ukraine. It's paid by the NATO, our NATO allies. So I think it's number a good one, topic. I it's think a it's a really topic good topic, too. I will say, let's, t let's, let's debate the fact that our national vital interest is in degrading the Russian military. 
By degrading no, the Russian he military, that black we actually keep our Ukraine, homeland safer, we that keep that our way. troops at home, and we all understand Article 5 of NATO. We have when to level with the American people. I thought and you said something about waiting until your turn to talk. So, well, hold on. So, at the point, end of the day, I'm going to finish my... I'm happy to debate this. Go ahead, and I'll respond. I'll look forward to this one right now. Um, so, at the end of the day, when you think about the fact that if you want to keep American troops at home, the attack on NATO territory would bring us and our troops in. By degrading the Russian military, we reduce, if not eliminate, a ta an attack on No, that is not NATO true. By having Ukraine join NATO, you increase the likelihood of Article 5. The reality is just because, just because Putin is not an, e Putin's an evil dictator does not mean that Ukraine is good. This is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. A win that has for actually Russia is Finally, a this is getting out Russia in their Russia debate. Win for China. Excuse me, if you have but a chance. I forgot you like you'll China. That's nope. why you're Nick, you'll have, Nick, you'll have you a think chance it's a, a, you think it's a coincidence yeah. she's cutting them off at that point? It's China not. China is the real enemy, and we're driving Russia further it's into China's good. arms. We need a reasonable peace plan to end this, especially this is a country whose president just last week Vivek, was hailing a Nazi Putin in have Ukraine. Nick, that's you agree, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, Mike Pence and Nikki Haley knows what he's about to say, and they keep Governor stopping him. They know exactly Governor what he's Christie. doing. President, Governor Christie, President Biden's first two years I brought China, Russia, and Nick, Iran he was about to bring up together. the Nazi problem, and Mike Pence knew that, Ukraine, and he stopped them. And not enough on this threat from the new world order. No, they're all connected, Stuart. They're all connected. The Chinese are paying for the Russian this. war in Ukraine. The Iranians are supplying more sophisticated what? weapons, and so are the North Koreans now as well, with the encouragement of the Chinese. The naivete on this stage from some of these folks is extraordinary. Look, <laughs> I understand I people to want to go and talk to Putin. Later. Guess what? A lot so did George W. Bush. So did Barack Obama. So did Donald Trump. And so did Joe Biden when he said a small invasion wouldn't be so bad. Every one of them has been wrong. And the fact of the matter is we need to say right now that the Chinese-Russian alliance is something we have to fight against, and we are not going to solve it by going over and cuddling up to Vladimir Putin. Look, Donald wow. Trump said Vladimir Putin about? was brilliant and a great leader. This is the person who is murdering people in his own country and now not having enough blood, he's now going to Ukraine to murder innocent civilians and kidnap 20,000 children. Oh and let me tell God. you, if you think that's where it's going to stop— that. If we give him any of Ukraine, next will be Poland. Right. This is a guy who said, no, wait, 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 this is a guy in 1991 up, who said that was the darkest moment in world history when the Soviet Union fell. Listen, everybody, he wants to put the old band back together and only America Christy can stop fun. it. All and right. when I'm president, we will. Do, you, I, 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 I,